What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Flash Picks Best Bet Show. As always, I'm your host, Matty Chucks, joined again, as always, by my co-host, Austin's Props. Austin, how are we feeling, brother? Dude, we have been printing money on this show, honestly. 6-0 and on our last six props, all around, like, minus 120 juice, ne- no, like, minus 190 juice. Like, we're, we're finding value, we're crushing it, the vibes are up, and we got two more here that I think we can extend the streak on. Yeah, we've been doing this thing of like a same game, uh, attacking a hitter and a pitcher. Been working really well. We're now plus 7.01 units. The .01 I probably didn't have to add, but I did because it just felt right. And it's the truth. You know, We don't lie. We just constantly tell the truth. So it's a 7.01. You can maybe get a little bit of guac on your Chipotle with that .01. You deserve it. For, for following the plays, you deserve it. Um, but back to back to back 2 and 0 shows like comment bring the good vibes bring the love we need it to keep the streak alive and also again more football stuff coming uh more game show type stuff for football too as well which should be fun and we're at 3.9k subscribers let's get to 4k before the football season starts and climb from there we appreciate all you guys who watch view and comment without further ado let's dive into the business and Nick Castellanos over 1.5 hits, runs, RBIs, minus 135 on DK. The dude just crushes lefties. Uh, he's betting 326 versus lefties, 550 slugging percentage, just an absolute monster versus lefties. But he can have a big day with this lineup that's really stacked. I love where he bats fourth. He's got Schwarber, Bohm, Harper that he can hit home. He can even get a sack fly, which will get us halfway there. And then also Trey Turner, Real Mudo, even Rodolfo Castro versus a lefty. If he does get on base, can hit him home. He's kind of sandwiched perfectly for this. Austin, what are your thoughts? Yeah, no, I totally agree. I think he's in that right spot where I trust the guys behind him with Trey Turner, Real Muto, to possibly knock him in if he gets walked. But he's got plenty of RBI opportunities. He's been 350 against fastballs to left-handed pitching and 414 to the slider. So those are both Kikuchi's made to arsenals. So really, really good spot. I just think... I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes yard today. There's just He's going lot, deep. Yeah, there's a lot of ways this one goes. He's hitting the ball hard. Why not? You know what I mean? So many ways that this goes over. I'll play the juice at 135. Absolutely. And to pair that, we're going Kikuchi under 17.5 outs. Uh, we love this play. Uh, we talked about this morning. Uh, just the bullpen's fully rested. Uh, day off yesterday. I think everyone besides maybe one guy is – is able to play tonight or pitch tonight. Uh, he's known for being a little wild, and this Phillies team is very scrappy. Uh, and not going to lie, Kikuchi at home has gone under this outs a lot more versus righties. They're batting 257, which is a better batting average than lefties. And honestly, this, with the additions of guys like Rodolfo Castro and this, this, the lineup that we just talked about where Castellanos is sandwiched in, there's no really easy outs. Maybe Rojas at the at the end of the lineup there, but there's no easy outs. Every out's going to be tough, and it's a close game. Both these teams uh, fighting for wild card spots. Uh, the Blue Jays are in the last are holding the last wild card spot right now. Only two games ahead of the Mariners. I think there's a short leash if he's in any trouble in the sixth. And his pitch count may be high, where he may just finish five anyway and be done. A lot of ways this can go under. Um, Austin, you could add on to this if you like. Yeah, absolutely. The Phillies as well. I mean, the last 11 left-handed starting pitchers, 10 of them went under this line. They're averaging about two and a half walks to lefties as well. They run pitch count up, which is perfect with Yusei's control issues. I think Schwarber's one of those guys where he might not have a huge game with the bat, but he can run up eight to 10 pitches, one AB, and really help us with the pitch count. And Yusei's not a guy that's going to go 100 pitches. It's very rare he he does. He's usually around the 85 to 90 mark, so I think it's perfect for 17 and a half. I think as well, he could likely only go five today. There's just a lot of a lot of ways this one stays under. Yeah, I'm looking right now too. Like the game against Seattle, uh, the game was very, very, very close. It was like one zero uh, in the sixth inning, and he got pulled at 5.1 innings with only 78 pitches because he let a runner on base. I think with Wheeler on the mound and the other side, there's a good chance this is a close game. I think more of a low-scoring game. And if it's not, I think the Phillies are the ones scoring, and he's probably under this anyway. So 
A lot of ways that we like this. I think it's going to move a little more before game time. Those are the two plays. Castellanos of 1.5 hits, runs, RBIs. Hopefully he can help out the Kikuchi under outs. That'd be great. Again, we're trying to go for 8-0 run, with which would be back-to-back-to-back-to-back 2-0 days. Make some money. There's my money printer. I need more. Best of luck on your bets today. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.